Hey friends, welcome back to the How to Survive Medical School series where me and a bunch of my friends who are now junior doctors, we recorded this when we were in med school, uh, we all give our advice about different aspects of how to survive medical school. And in this video, we're talking about how to enjoy clinical placements. So as usual, I'll start by giving you my perspective on this and then we'll hear from a bunch of other people because the way that I went through medical school is not the only way to get through medical school. So how do we enjoy our medical school placements? Well. I think really the most important thing is that we need, we should treat them as like a social activity, almost like a school trip. So I remember, you know, we'd go on placement to these random hospitals in the middle of nowhere with a group of up to 10 people that we probably didn't know very well. But, you know, I found that when we all did group activities together and, and sort of bonded, we all became pretty good friends. And now actually some of my closest friends are people that I met on my first second and third placements of medical school, people who weren't in my college, people who I didn't spend the first three years of medical school with. So I think that's point number one. Like if, if no one in the group is organizing social activities, then you need to be the one to organize the social activities because every group needs that initial leader to take the initiative to suffer the potential awkwardness and embarrassment of suggesting that we have a board games night. But you know, I, basically on, on every placement, I would take Articulate and a bunch of other board games and I'd be the one who would be suggesting that, okay guys, let's meet up in the doctor's mess and, and have a board games night. And some people would come, some people wouldn't, but everyone who turned up would really enjoy it. And then by the end of it, like everyone would like get together. And so the socializing aspect of it is what makes medical school placements really fun. Secondly, what I'd say is make friends with the other doctors who are around you. Like you're on your medical school placements, you're like working with junior doctors who are on there, who are kind of working. They actually kind of want to be friends with you. And if you were to invite them to a board games night, they'd probably show up and be very grateful for the invite. So don't think it's going to be weird. Like, you know, I have medical students in the ward these days. If one of them were to be like, hey, Ali, you know, we're doing a board games night tomorrow at, at 5 p.m., you know, in, in like the common room or something, do you want to come around? I'd be like, oh my God, hell yeah, I'd love to come around. I freaking love board games. Thank you so much for thinking of me. That's amazing. And I would feel really, really good about it as a doctor. And when I was a medical student, I would do this with the with the junior doctors that we were that we were with. I would invite them to our board games nights and be like, hey, you know, some of us are grabbing dinner at Pizza Express. Do you want to come? And you know, some of them came, some of them didn't, but the ones who did really enjoyed it and we made friends with them. And now I work with some of them, the ones at my hospital who were actually junior doctors when I was a medical student at, at university. And it's just nice, it's just really good. So those would be my two points for how to survive, how to enjoy placements. Firstly, socialize with the people in your group. And secondly, make friends with the other doctors, the junior doctors, socialize with them, invite them to board games nights. They will 100% appreciate it. So those were just some little, so those were just some thoughts from my end. Let's now turn to some of my friends and they will give their thoughts on how they enjoyed their medical school placements. Let's go. So I absolutely adore placement. It's It's been my favorite. Being being on placement with, with a group of friends has been just fantastic. Um, my favorite part of the past three years, definitely. I think you'll often find on placement that you're living with friends. So you'll live in hospital accommodation or the hospital will like rent flats or houses. So you'll often be be living literally in, in in really close proximity with everyone. And there's there's great advantages to that. So making plans for the evenings is a great way to enjoy placement. So you'll be living together and you'll be able to explore the new town or city that you you find yourself in. For example, in my first year of clinical medicine, I was on placement in Bedford. Um, and I actually didn't know anyone in my placement group before I went. I was quite nervous actually um, and thought oh, I don't know any of these people, none of them were from my college and actually within a couple of weeks I had become really close friends with these people and we found lovely things to do so um, there was a pub just round the corner that did a pub quiz every Tuesday so we used to go and form a team and we were actually really shockingly awful but it was great fun um, and there was like when I was in um, I was out in Peterborough and there was like a great fish and chip shop that we'd go to once a week together um, so yeah just doing doing some things together in the evenings is really nice things like watching TV together um, if there's a particular series that you're partial to um, you know getting together Great British Bake Off we used to have have big gatherings for that when we were on placement um, yeah, so sticking together in the evenings, I think, is a great, great thing to do. You can cook together. Not only does that make it cheaper, but it's far more fun when you're cooking together and eating together. Um, yeah, and just take the opportunity to explore where you are. Um, there'll be cool things in these different towns and cities. Yeah, just explore a little bit. I think with placements, it depends what you want to get out of it. So for some people, it might be that they want to really get into the social scene at a placement. Um, and outside of that, that working life, they want to 
get new friends that, who they haven't previously had the chance to get to know um, and do lots of things in the evenings, weekends, that kind of thing with those people. And I know a lot of people at uni who have come away from various placements with new friends and I'm included in that, that I've often found people who I wouldn't have come across unless I'd been randomly placed in a, a hospital with them. And I've actually got to know them really well and really enjoyed doing that. So if you do want to get to know people, I'd say get stuck in um, to the evening events and maybe even instigate you know, meetups, board games, trips out, that kind of thing to try and make it a bit more fun being away from home. I think though sometimes, it depends placement wise, if actually you would prefer to be commuting to that placement and staying at home and that has often worked well for me as well in that if there's something I want to be doing at home that I know I really enjoy and I don't want to miss out on, I have made the effort to just drive to placement and drive myself home um, or get a lift with someone if I have to or get the train and sometimes that is worth it if you feel that there's something you really don't want to miss out on and it would make it make life better for you if you were able to take part in things at home and on placement. So I think it's about making a balance of what you want to get out of it and trying as much as possible to integrate with that group of people so that you've got a support network there and at home. As well, enjoying pa placements also, it's kind of like enjoying medical school, enjoying anything in life, you kind of have to dive headfirst into it. So a group of us, including Ali, we were, were placed to, to Kings Lynn. And Kings Lynn did have quite a bad rep from our seniors when we were told about it. So all of us are feeling a bit iffy about it. But at the end of the day, when we, we got together and when we went there, we made the most of our placement. And actually, it was a really good hospital. It was a really good learning experience. We really had a lot of fun there. Sometimes you might feel a bit gutted to be placed in a place which you're not, which wasn't your first choice. But it's all about making the most of the situation. It's done, it's all water under the bridge, you're there now, so make the most of, out of it. And actually, you'll find that you can get, that enjoyment can come from lots of other things that are unreal, that you know you might never have expected before. So like company, like friends, and also if you make the most of it, some people might open up and start teaching you more, and then you might get to know junior doctors better, and then they might teach you more as well. So just go with it, and then go all in, and, and try to make the most of it. A lot of it is down to a bit of Luck. So I've obviously heard Paul talk about his Kings Lynn experience and I think everything he says is completely true about throwing yourself into it uh, and em embracing where you are even if it's not where you wanted to be. If you're with a group of like-minded people that can always help. If you're in a bigger group, so I was in Kings Lynn at times with just one other person which obviously didn't help. Sometimes if, if you're far away, so a lot of people would be annoyed on our, in our school, medical school if they got a really distant placement relative to a close one. Actually the social life of being further away was sometimes better because no one could commute, so everyone was kind of there as a community in the evenings. Whereas in my most recent placement, myself and, well, myself included, most of us just commuted every single day. So there are pros and cons to anywhere you might be placed, and I think it's down to the individual, really, to just get the most out of it. Before we continue, I just want to tell you about the sponsor for this video, and that is Brilliant. Brilliant is a fantastic online learning community with online courses for maths, science, and computer science. So if you're a medical student, chances are your life is all consumed by medicine as mine sort of was. Uh, and Brilliant is a great place to learn a little bit more about other topics. One thing that I'd particularly recommend is Brilliant's courses on computer science. So they've got a really good one about the fundamentals of computer science, the fundamentals of algorithms. And then once you've done those, there's a really fantastic one about learning Python from the ground up. And the reason I'd recommend the computer science ones for medics in particular is because so much of research these days and all the kind of tech stuff in medicine at the moment is focusing more on like machine learning, AI, big data, all of those sorts of topics. All of that sort of stuff is stuff that really is valuable and a skill that very few other people have. So if you're a medical student and you're interested in kind of making your CV and your general like portfolio of activities, like the skills that you have a little bit better, then please do go to brilliant.org forward slash appendix and that will give you a free trial. And then if you click on that link, the first 200 people to do so will get 20% off the annual premium subscription as well. So thanks Brilliant for sponsoring this video. So one thing I found that's really useful for enjoying placements is getting to know the other medics that you're on placement with like really early on and trying to set some sort of regular meetup or social thing that you guys um, get involved with. I found there were some placements where early on we'd get, I'd get to know all the other doctors that were there, we'd arrange maybe to go to the cinema, to have dinner together, play board games, whatever it is we felt like doing. And then because we enjoyed it so much, it would become a weekly thing and we'd make time for it every week. But then I found there's other placements where 
Um, I think people were a bit more passive and no one really took the lead and no one organized anything. And then you end up not really hanging out that much with other people from your placements. Um, you get to the end of the placement and you realize that actually you haven't been having a great time because you've just not really been hanging out and doing things in your evening. Um, and people have often just gone off, left the wars, gone home and just spent their time um, doing whatever it is they want to do. But uh, it's definitely not as fun as it would be if you like hanging out with each other. There's no point in kind of moaning about how bad your placement is. Like it might be, you might think it's really bad, but the the reality is that you're kind of stuck there because you can't just like change to another place. It's up to you to kind of get the most out of it that you can. Um, I think in any situation, you just have to like make the best with what you've got. And if you just kind of change your frame of mind to, um, I'm going to go in, I'm going to identify the doctors that want to teach me, I'm going to identify like the most useful ward rounds, the most useful clinics, the most useful teaching, um, and kind of base your learning experience around that, then it's better than being like, oh, this place is so far away. It's like the accommodation is so terrible because like whether or not you complain about it, it's still there. So <laughs> yeah, it's up to you. <laughs> we were really lucky in that our clinical school um, gives us free accommodation near to the hospital where we're on placement. So that's not something that is common. A lot of people have to commute a long way and uh, you know they're not living with the people they're on placement with so they might not even know who's there uh, on placement with them let alone get a chance to get to know them in the evenings, make friends with them. So I actually found that a real plus. Although there's obviously some negatives of not being at your usual home during the weekdays so you don't see your housemates that you would have lived with there. Um, you still see them on the weekend, so it's not too bad. But yeah, largely similar points, to be honest. Uh, really actually set up a life for yourself in the place where you're living for placement. So rather than thinking, oh, I'll do my sport on the weekend when I can play with my usual football club, or, oh, I'll um, go try, I'll, I won't really go bother going out into the town and trying cafes or whatever because, like, this isn't the place where I actually live. Just actually, you know, get immersed and, uh, find some sport clubs near you, find some restaurants that you can go to occasionally with placement friends. If it's like someone's birthday or something, it's really nice. Uh, get to know your placement buddies, set up like a, a, a cooking rota or something if you can, uh, and just try and push t for those regular social things to kind of keep things a bit more lively than, because you know, placement can get pretty dull, pretty boring if you, just see it as a place you are during the week and end up a bit socially more isolated than you would if you were living back at the place you live on weekends. It's not really that different to enjoying medical school as a whole, actually. Though there are some things that you can do at the start of a placement that will help. So the first few days, the first week of a new placement is really important. You should maximise your time spent in the hospital on those days. Get to know the team introduce yourself say i'm so and so and i'm you know you want to make them think that you're really really keen if you do that at the start placements will give you more flexibility the junior doctors will give you more flexibility if you need that time off in order to study or do something else so that's probably a key tip to give yourself the room to have fun later making sure that with the students around you kind of keep in contact keep keep seeing each other and uh you know, try and organise a few events or something every week. You know, keep yourself entertained. Don't just sit in and watch Netflix. That's a, it's a dangerous hole. And just be friendly with all the doctors. They they want to be, they want to be, uh, you know, they want to have fun as well. It's their job every day to be there and teach you. They want to get to know you and uh, have a laugh with you. So just kind of relax. Make sure that you're not treating them as some kind of some god that higher up god that knows more than you just treat them as a human that that is there to help you but also um have a laugh with so yeah another point might be trying to get yourself involved in a uh, like some of the junior doctor you know sports teams for example um you can just ask around ask the juniors i happened to bump into an old friend of mine uh while working on one of the placements who said oh we've got a five or six aside team football team we play every monday and thursday do you want to join and uh since then, I mean, I know there's quite, they ask quite a lot of medical students to come and play for them. You know, maybe football's not your thing, but there's, there's usually something that they're doing um, social-wise that you guys can get involved in. 
All right, so that was some general tips about how to enjoy medical school placements. I hope you found that useful. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please consider doing so. Have a lovely day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.